everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do phase detection using media pipe in your web application with javascript so firstly i will show you guys the output and here you can see uh, that i have uh, two images and if i click on any of these images here you can see it is able to detect the phase as well as uh, display the confidence level similarly for this as well uh, now i am using wheat but you can use any web uh, bundler if you want to even if you don't want to use a web bundler uh, that's fine like you can use normal v, uh, html css and javascript without any bundler as well so first uh, so inside my package.json i have installed this uh, dependency of media pipe task vision uh, if you don't have uh, like you don't have a web bundler then you can follow this uh, tutorial on how to do the same uh, next inside index.html uh, i have uh, created a module of uh, so i'm referencing this my javascript or typescript file i'm using typescript uh, then uh, this is like normal h2 and p tag and here is my img tag i'm referencing some images same over here and i have uh, assigned some click listener on each of this uh, images then for css like these are like normal css in case if you want to use it you can uh, but yeah you can apply your own css if you want to next coming back to typescript or javascript i have added this imports next uh, i am getting our demo section by its id then i have created one variable for phase detector and i am initializing it so again uh, this should be whatever version you are using inside your package.json so be careful and here we are passing our model asset path so this is our model asset path uh, again i have copied it from the documentation itself and it is for images and here once they is, these are initialized i am uh, removing this invisible uh, proper class from our uh, section uh, the, so here i am calling this initialize phase detector method then uh, we are getting the detect on click uh, like looping over it and adding click listener for each and every uh, particular div which we have and once uh, handle click is called uh, the click listener will be uh, triggered so we are first uh, getting this highlighter uh, which is uh, like a constant uh, getting getting element by class name uh, once uh, that is done uh, then uh, we are checking if high highlighters uh, zero exist uh, if yes then remove it from the child uh, if no uh, so next is same thing we are doing for infos as well if it exists then we are removing it similarly for key points as well and if the phase detector is not initialized we are just doing a console log and here i am just setting options for our phase detector for running mode is image uh, but uh, yeah next uh, we are calling phase detector dot detect and we are passing the event dot target and we are getting the detection and here we are calling display by image detection so once we get the detection we are also calculating the ratio uh, depending on your image size and then we are creating a paragraph tag and uh, we are also creating a div and i am naming it as highlighter okay and if you uh, s uh, remember we were just uh, checking this highlighters were present or not right so that's what we are doing over here uh, if a, if it already exists for a particular image we are we were just uh, removing it previously uh, then here we are actually creating the highlighter when the user clicks on it and we are able to detect the image uh, face and here we are setting some confidence level as well from our detection dot categories dot score <coughs> now to draw the bounding box first check bounding box is present inside our detection if yes then uh, for p uh, we are uh, we are assigning the style like left top width and height so uh, detection dot bounding box dot origin x multiplied by ratio similarly for top width as well and for height i have just kept it as 20 pixels uh, uh, next for setting the attribute of our highlighter i have set it as highlighter then again same left top width and height and here i am again passing detection dot bounding box dot origin x i am passing the ratio similarly for top as well i am passing uh, the origin y and for width as well i am passing it 
and as well for height detection dot bounding box dot height and multiplying it by ratio then we are appending our highlighter to our result element as well as the paragraph element also we are appending it and then we are just looping over key point of detection dot key points we are creating an element of spam and here we are just uh, assigning some class name okay and here we are uh, assigning uh, so here we are assigning the top shell as well as the left i think this should be span right <laughs> not spam and here uh, let me just check if it still works yeah so next here we are just assigning a class name to it and for key point we are just doing key point dot y multiply by result element dot height minus three pixels similarly key point dot x for left multiply by result element dot width minus three pixels and then we are just doing result element dot parent node dot append child and we are passing our key point here so yeah that's it huh? that's how you can do face detection i was trying to do with react js as well but there was some issue with the styling of this highlighter which i couldn't really figure it out uh, that's why i decided to do with vanilla html css and javascript so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye